Nearly two years ago, just after President Trump's surprise victory, we visited with Democrats forming the resistance, desperate and determined to undermine the president and turn things in the next election. As we approach the congressional midterm elections, the elections between presidential election years, we decided to check back in with some of those resistors and found even though Trump isn't on this ballot, he's still on their minds. This is Tarek. I'm a volunteer with the Pennsylvania Democratic Party. And I'm a volunteer for the Dolphin County Democrats. And I was just calling to remind people to get out to vote on November the 6th. These members of the so-called Democratic resistance in Pennsylvania's capital of Harrisburg are working the phones around dinner time on a Wednesday evening, searching for like-minded voters who also want to join the movement. She's coming out to vote, right? Their goal is to toss incumbent Republican Scott Perry out of Congress and replace him with Democrat George Scott, a pastor and veteran. They're also trying to keep Democrat Tom Wolf in the governor's office and re-elect the state's single Democratic senator. But more than anything else, they're trying to stop President Trump. All the different things that have been happening, like the immigration, the regulations, the environmental regulations, they have turned around. The tax break that's for the top 1% and not for the common people. The courts, changing the courts. People now see that elections do matter. Um, they see what the policies are, and they're scared. Mr. Ryan, Mr. Trump, if you want a wall, build it your damn selves. Yeah! Nearly two years ago, we were here in Harrisburg, just after the president's surprise Pennsylvania victory helped put him over the top. We met Democrat Party organizer Gene Still, then organizing a rally on the steps of the state capitol. We have a basically an idiot running the government right now, or attempting to run the government, who only governs by Twitter. And as we this year, we checked back ages, with Stilp. He tells us he's been deployed out west to help Democrats in tight Senate races there. Also nearly two years ago, we met a fledgling group of resistors at the home of Andrea Walker in Arlington, Virginia. Now going into the midterms, they tell us they're still active, focusing on trying to pick up a couple of congressional seats currently held by the GOP. Can I hear you say yeah? yeah. The resistance has remained energized and motivated since 2016, making an indelible mark with organized protests in the streets. Chasing Republicans out of public areas. We believe survivors. We believe survivors. We believe survivors. We believe survivors. Disrupting the Supreme Court nominee process. But today is different. And even backing what critics call the mob violence of anti fascists or Antifa. As for President Trump, he's speaking to overflow crowds across the country, using the tactics of the resistance as a rallying cry. Republicans believe in the rule of law, not the rule of the mob. That's what it is. It's a mob. But we found many on the left do not condone the in-your-face tactics. They are resisting quietly, doing the actual hard organizational work needed to turn a political tide. I'm thinking that's the best thing we can do right now is to look at the House and flip it and then, if possible, flip the Senate. That's the only way we're going to stop the president from doing what he wants to do. Uh, voter registration is over on Tuesday. Pam Zidick organized this group in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I'm hopeful. Initially, with the shock and everything, everyone was like gun ho My level of hope is probably medium high that people will come out and will vote and will make a difference this time. They hope to translate enthusiasm and anger into votes, but aren't quite so willing to declare victory on the front end. You guys will be coming out to vote, right? Yeah, but not democratically. I'm definitely hopeful. Um, you know, one of the things I always tell people, especially those who like to go to the protests and the marches or activists, is, you know, the next march we have to plan is the one to the ballot box. But, you know, you never know until that day. Um, so I'm not going to take it for granted. I think as a party, we took 2016 for granted, and we saw that result. The Harrisburg group has made a special effort to engage more young voters this year, but until Election Day, they won't know if that effort pays off.